So one, one dash three Lewis Street is the last on the agenda. It has applied for variance for takeout service. The new restaurant is also being closed at the above location on the next address.
there should be enough for the uh, just for the conventional yeah, it, 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 it can't just be like enough. It has to be more than enough because if not, your ventilation stack is going to be growing into the window of that elderly okay. complex. I would check on that. I know, you know, to get this uh, building code, that will be checked, but, but I will check on that. that and and they, they haven't made comments about, as, as a direct abutter, they haven't made any comments. No. So they're not, they're not opposed and they're not in the favor. And of course, and, uh, I mean, it used to be a, a tavern for 75 years, and then a coffee shop. So we just reopened what it was before. But, but I don't think that they had ventilation staff. They didn't have a chimney. They didn't cook. On, on they have a fan actually blowing just out of the building, um, right next to the building. In fact, it was actually a redoing better than they used to do, okay. uh, way better. They would just, if you go in, there is a fan just blowing actually close against the other building facing. So it's right there. I mean. So what we're doing, and instead of, we cannot use that. Uh, that's why we're using the convention oven and going all the way up to the roof. So which is a way, way much better way to do it. Okay. 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 This is producing smoke or just making the heated air? It's like a self-contained unit. And then it's, it's not creating smoke, per se. There's no burning water. Oh, it's, it's like a baking. It's just a baking, yeah. And then you have to set the left and you can just put it anywhere. So I mean, this is no yeah. fumes coming out of the top. No, just, uh, well, you right now. Yeah. So there's yeah. a small space. Yeah, like a Yeah, exactly. So you guys, you already have a lease for the space? Yes, we do. How many years? Have you have a lease for a period of years? Whatever, you just lease the space? Yes, we lease the space in um, October, so we haven't been able to do anything. Okay, so you went out to the third department and proposed your plans? And then it's um yes. it's good for a for a restaurant, but we are not allowed to take out. Which is um I mean that's something that I'm confused because it used to be a coffee place and a coffee is a takeout. You grab in the coffee and then you go. Yeah, right. Yeah, people have followed the rules, that's what it is. Uh and you're saying that you're gonna do deliveries with your van? You no, he was talking about the liver I mean you're gonna deliver out of you're gonna have a van for delivery of food. For the food going to the place? Or what do you mean? Well, what what do you mean? Like, how do you take taking prepared meals to, to customers when they ask me? Well, we are not starting doing the liver since we opened. No, we've got to wait to see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. You okay. Know, that's, that would be something that we can. So you're talking about the delivery of goods to you, that your raw materials going to get delivered exactly. to the back of the building. That's what some of the concerns that we had from, uh, from some people. Like, how, about, how much of a big truck it would have been you know, blocking the street, which is. We are not going to do that. Let me ask you another question. The nature of your business, you're going to cook with a conventional oven. So, what do you know about the hot mixes, tacos, and chiladas? You can go. We have a place for a year. This okay. is in Medford, and that's how we do it. Okay, so can I ask you a question? Are you going to issue your next location to come inside from this place? No. No? You need to tell me to prepare it Yeah. The, okay. same, the same way as we do the other one. That's how we do it. Yeah, that's the same, same, same way. That's how we've been operating here, and then we're going to operate here. Um, so, I mean, we hope. So you won't be frying food? No. What kind of food can you get in the convention? You can. You can visit us if you want to try it. <coughs> that's how, that's, how, we're, that's yeah. how we're going to do it. Yeah. And again, in your menu, what do you have in your menu? We have tortas. Okay. Um, we have enchiladas, tacos, and then some dishes that we can do. Depending. You, know, you can make fish, you can do. You know, it's up to the special that we we would like to rotate during the week. And what do you do for service at the restaurant? It's self serve. You order your line and you pick and choose what you want to have on your plate. I mean, the obviously there's an enchilada. There's only one way to do it. You know, what about our usual breakfast? So far it's like 11 to 10. I'm not mistaken. Right now that we are open. 11 in the morning to 10 yeah. o'clock. Yeah. You're open already there or not? No, no, no. That's how we propose. So you're proposing yeah. 11 and then, in the morning to 10 o'clock at night? Exactly. Okay. And then uh, again, if our uh, business, you know, we're looking to open a restaurant. And if things go well, you know, we, we may consider to open like early for breakfast, uh, you know, just to increase uh, the revenue. But uh, that's something that we have to know how things go. We don't know. So that's how we're here. And then, I to get support. And on the, on the picture here, Liz, I have a question for you. Where is the chimney coming up? It's coming up behind the building? Behind the building. Okay, so it's not affecting the parking area right no. here. It's coming up along the back of the building. Exactly, all the way up. Exactly, the way up. Oh, and uh, this is when you go in, that's one of the concerns of some of the uh, neighbors. If you go back with the van, that's how we're going to load it into the kitchen. Okay. 
And so there won't be any interference because we won't be on the street. We will ride inside of the pro private property. So, I mean. We go inside to this. This is the back of the building, and then we have a space like about probably 10, 12, which is the wide of the uh, kitchen, which is that's where the kitchen was. And the other side of this, which is, I guess, the bottom, that's where they have a fan. And they've been, that's how they actually they were making all kind of food. I mean, whoever was owning the, uh, the coffee shop, and they were just blowing air right to the first floor, which is, I don't know, I mean, nobody, I guess, nobody said anything. They were for a few years. In this case, we just tried to propose to go all the way up, which is, that's, I mean, it's a big difference. Excuse me? It would even take that, too. So I, I, I used to live in this building for oh, like six years. My father still lives in this building. And um, you know, I think the one time when we had the most issues was we used to have these parties at night on, on uh, Saturday yeah. nights and have people over and drinks and music yeah, and dance. I'm just wondering, do you have any plans to have any of these types of parties? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, um, I guess like anything that you want to do, you first have to come to the uh, to apply and if everyone is, you know, if they allow you to do it. Which is, I don't think, uh, I don't know where you can do it. It's just, it's a, it's a parking spot, and it's already on by the other things. Are you asking about the space inside, or is that a parking spot? They would have them both. They would have, like, um, shell meetings and just different things at night. And I think that's when it becomes more of an issue once it creeps in at 10, 11 o'clock, and it's loud. Because uh, it's very, you know, it's way on top. I don't think we had a license to do that. Exactly, you need some sort of license. I mean, you cannot just go in and have. I mean, you need a license. So we're breaking the law. We're not doing it properly. So Friday, Saturday night, you're open to the Yes. We open on the medical location just until night. And then we close. So we close on Sundays. We're looking to open on the weekend. If everything goes well again. I mean, I'm looking to open a business. So I'm hoping to do well. And, uh, and I'm, again, I'm just hoping also to get the support. And then take out, I see the lines of the, the restaurants in the north end. Uh, it's a really difference if you go in and out and you go, or they prefer <coughs> people like um, having a lot of people outside. I mean, what, what would make the difference? I mean, because I see the takeout, you know, you know that's the issue. Uh, so yeah, how about it's a simple, yeah. do you with the trash? You have we have a spot right outside of the back door, which is going to be um, a dumpster, but it's going to be picking up. Now, how many times a week? We normally get it on the other place, twice a week. Um, and that's, you don't want the... Uh, yeah, uh, that that yeah. yeah, right there. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's something that's an issue too. I mean, the dumpsters in the north end don't work. That's very nice uh, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and it smells in the summertime. All the businesses in the community will take the pick up. What do you do? I told her. You know, it costs you the same at the end of the day. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not feasible in Boston. <coughs> Met was a different story, we had a behind the building or whatever. And then you know, we had a guy who up and the buy a whole shit back into the building as soon as you're done with the pickup. You know, so we took out that night after you finished business. In the morning, the first person that comes in, take the bottle that came to Quincy and put in the basement. I see. We don't know. I had rats in my living room when I lived there. Literally run across Washington DC. Yeah. So that, I mean, I, when there was a restaurant. It's a serious problem. They were watching TV with me. They love the theater. <coughs> I heard the owner was telling me that um, that they took care of um, a way before me. It's it's not just it's not that building. It's, a whole it's, it's the building behind it that, that oh. actually. And so so now what's going to happen is if you have a dumpster that's touching that building, now they're going to the best this building again. Mm -hmm. So you know, the daily take up is the way to go. Something that uh, yeah. Best, you know, yeah. I own a couple of businesses. <coughs> Uh, we have to, I guess we have to confirm it to see if we have to. Yes, and then we just something that they will decide whether we can. What's the best way to do it? What's your sign look like at your current place? It's a picture of the existing. Just so you know that we, we really are very strongly against the back of the signs and the neon signs. We prefer signs to be painted on the surface, maybe you know, gently, but not mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, things we've done, a lot of times we use the uh, gooseneck lights. Yeah. You want to go according to the This is the uh, way we look yeah. sign now. This is the one, and then we can go and the little match. 
also the, uh, the property exactly, which is everything will be nice in the process. What's the name again? The notch. The notch. No, it's a Tenochtitlan. The notch is a T-E-N-O-C-H. 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 T
perfect example, Hanover Street right now, Cobblestone Cafe, they had to come, even though previous, there was a sandwich store there previous, she, she had to come back to get to, uh, another 36A because it was um, for the petition of only from the previous business. I know I'm, I'm probably not being as clear as I possibly can, but. Well, just to tell you, what, there's a couple of concerns. One of them is the fact that it's a fast food restaurant at that location. Okay. I don't think that is good for the, for the area. And that's one of my main concerns. And the fact they have to have takeout, because I don't think he'll open if he doesn't have takeout. I think that's the whole point behind the, this restaurant concept. Thirdly, uh, he has an additional restaurant that has a liquor license. Um, so is, is he going to come in front of the board in another year if he gets approved? And, and try to put a liquor license in here also? Is that the next move? I don't know. Steve, that's another concern. I, I got you. Is, hold on, Bill. Is, did you have any hand Yeah, I just wanted to um, clarify on that zoning point. Um, I'm in a butter as well. And our main concern would be that the zoning change happens and then it's for, don't want your business to fail, but a lot of things have failed there. Um, and someone else comes in with it. I know your, your concern is if we okay at 36A, then. Right. No one has to come back. It just that right. the use of the of yeah, one yeah. Dash three. Is there a way? It. Is it always done that it's way? It's not always. It? Um, not always, but it's been, it's it's been more. Um, it's been common practice lately. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's wide, not just my North main Bend concern or, with it. Yeah. And, that? um, that's my main concern because I really I don't think people are going to drive up to get tacos. Like I think it's going to be foot traffic. So from that perspective, I I don't have an issue, but I do have an issue if it's a long term change that. If he's gone in a year, someone else can come in and make it whatever else take out, and that does change the character. Bill, one more question, because then we only have five minutes. Out. I think that given the fact that we're going down that street toward the Golden Goose, toward the, the Boston Sports Club gym, toward Starbucks, toward Billy T's, toward the Anthony's, he would be very fortunate if he had been able to on that street infinitesimally compared to what it already is. I don't see that he's adding a great deal more traffic. As to take out, we've got my cousins, we've got uh, hot tomatoes or whatever replaces it. We've got um, we've got uh, polenoli. We've got so much takeout. That this is only one more. I don't see where the change but in the nature of the neighborhood. Even it's not. Yes, you, you, you do, but but uh, can other streets a little different. You can handle a lot more uh, pedestrian walking by and traffic and people congregating on the on the curb. There's no room to this location. The kids drinking up. Here. Down People are going to be waiting outside. Uh, it's, yeah. not, it's not good for the elderly it's complex next door. Uh, more quick questions. Then, 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 then. No, we don't. Well, I do have in the other business. Are you going to go, are you going to apply for the No, I guess that's one of the issues that some of the uh, neighbors, they had. Like, they asked if we don't have to apply for the new place. We do a good business without the life of the We have a beer in the and we do business even without it. I mean, it's not like the huge impact that we have in our place already. Like so you, do you have it's a family, uh, it became like a family. Uh, no, this, this location, mm -hmm. you have the other one? No, I don't even, I cannot even do anything on this place right now. I mean, you know. But right now, does that mean that you're going to come back to us and ask for the other one? No. So you never, you're, never, you're never going to come back and Well, that's some of the, uh, the, uh, the things that they said if you want to open. That's one of the, uh, the only ways that they would allow us to do it. That's what they said on the other meeting. Uh, you know, we can give it the okay, but if you don't have to, I'm gonna. All right. Any, anyone wanna? Anyone? Anyone have questions? One more question, then, then we're gonna make a motion. Or, uh, anyone want to make a motion to support, or anyone want to make a motion to oppose? Well, we. I'm, I'm, what, what, what we can do is we can we can. We can vote. You can motion whatever you want. You can support it or oppose it. I just I want to vote on on the variance. I just if we just vote on it. We can get it be done with it, and we don't have to. I know there are issues. I mean, but can't can we? Can't we? But when you go to zoning, because, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but when you go to zoning, they don't discuss trash issues. You know what I mean? So these are things that you got approval at zoning. These are things that we can talk to the inspectional service about when they do their site cleanliness plan. They can tell them no packer. I mean, totes. So. So I can understand that, yeah. you know, that would be a big mistake. Yeah. Right? It would be a huge mistake. It would not be like... Every restaurant has a site. Somebody's not like you. Everyone has a You need to do the things, you know, if, if, you know, when you come up to ask for something, we do hold you accountable. You know, and, well, and, 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 and we do hear the voice of these uh, neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we do understand their point of view. I do also understand that there are a bunch of takeouts, <coughs> including 
uh, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the little supermarket, you have uh, all the little Southern goods, you got, uh, you got, we got a Starbucks right there, which is really, really far-fetched compared to what we like in the name of Buddha, I think, you know, it's a chain and all that stuff. But, uh, you, know, you have to follow the rules. If you're going to go in favor and get to carry out the you have to follow the rules. Yeah. All right, so, I, I, um, does anyone want to make a motion in, in opposition, or does anyone want to make a motion in support? Right. Alright, so Marie is uh, motioning to oppose one bad three Bullish Street. Does anyone second the motion? Second. Alright, so John seconds the motion. So we have a motion to oppose. Does anyone understand I just said oppose? Usually motion to support, right? Um, it's to oppose the variance for takeout 36A at 1 3 Bullish Street, a new restaurant uh, for the new restaurant being proposed at the above address. Formally next habit. All in favor to oppose 1 3 Bullish Street. One, two, three, four. All in support. No, I'm in. There's four. One, two, three, four. Four in opposition. Five. Five. Three or two or three. Five. Sorry, five. I apologize. Five in opposition. And and then five, three in opposition. Yeah. Sorry, five, three in opposition. Okay. Okay. Hang around.